Good morning all, it's the Dividend Hulk. Uh, just gonna do another profile update. Uh, my last update was a few days ago. It's just to show you where my uh, profile has gone, you know, in a few days already. So here it goes, my main account, you know, I think uh, yesterday I went over the 100K mark on my main account. I mean, this was from years and years and years of compounding dividends and you know this is this is the result you know so this is what worked for me I'm not saying it will work for you but this is just my um, strategies I use you know I'm, I'm just a dividend investor and we can uh, I could just scroll down here and then show you my other stocks uh, uh, accounts like uh, these two are in the sixes and I'm about to hit the you know 2000 in these two remember these two I started in December so we're talking about um, you know about three months three months in already and these I started about October so it's about five months so it's showing you um, the power of compounding it works, you know, like if I start this um, today, next three months might be different. You just don't, you know, with the stock market, you don't know if it's going to go up, down, you know. The only only thing you can control is consistency. And um, that's what I, I, I try to um, preach. Just to, you know, keep doing something over and over and over until you get the result so obviously the goal you know this is a good amount but my goal is very high for me to get retired so it would need I would need uh, a lot more money but this is uh, this is where it's a good start for me so maybe some of you are starting over here or you're starting with a hundred dollars but that's how I started over here with a hundred dollars and just kept putting in you know uh, week after week, month after month, and it slowly starts to grow. So, for everyone, I mean, dividends and compounding go hand in hand. You know, you're just making your money work for you time after time. And that should be the goal of your portfolio. Let me see if I can go here to see some of the dividends just for um, a couple of days. Let's see. Just go to um, activity. I'm just going to show you the dividends. So, um, I believe the week started. I think I just have one dividend from um, next. These are these are from last week actually. So this week, just uh, um, so far, Johnson Johnson, which is uh, five dollars and sixty nine cents. You know. I know it's just uh, one dividend. I mean, usually every week I have three, four, five or more dividend payments from different companies. So maybe Thursday or Friday I have a few, might have a few coming in. But see, this is free money right here. See, this money I never spend or I don't take out. This goes back in. So $5.69, I know it's not a lot to you guys. But I put it at work for me. And that's the goal with this uh, portfolio. I'm trying to make my money work for me. And it should be the same for everyone who's um, investing. You know. You know, in the previous video I did go over these, but this is this is what it is, see? This is all I'm doing. I mean, it's not it's not like a strategy, it's just something simple. I take you know. Put these back in, and these usually go into with MO Finance. MO Finance uh, invests into the lower end stocks, so the stocks that are are usually down for the for the day or the week. Usually, all these dividends go right into it, plus whatever I deposit. So just imagine I'm doing twenty-five dollars a day, and then I get this it becomes thirty dollars and sixty cents for the day. You know, you know, 
25 plus this, you know, so it, it adds up. I know it seems uh, very little. I'm like, you know, like, how did I get here? These used to be pennies. I remember when I first started and um, this was with a co-worker, you know, and I used to show them, you know, they're like, oh, all you're making is pennies. I'm like, it just takes time to build up, you know, and that's what it is. It, it's like a build up, a snowball, you know, and you slowly um the more you put into that snowball the more it grows so it's this is just all these, these dividends you know and since you can do fractional shares with um with m1 finance you get fractional dividends so it's not it's not like anything um you it's not like you have to buy the whole share of stock to actually get uh, credit for it. You know, you can just buy a little bit, but as long as you own it by the ex dividend date, you'll get that uh, dividend. So again, this is just like, a, I'm just giving you an update, you know, just to show you it can be done, you know, uh, and I'm glad you're watching me now. So you're gonna see, cause my, you know, maybe, um, my next uh, goal is probably 150, so that's what I'm going to be pushing for, the 150 mark. So it's just going to keep doing what I do, just keep putting money each day that the stock market is open and just lay a compound. Let the stock market work its magic. There's nothing I'm doing that uh, none of you can't do. I'm not doing anything special. I must keep being simple. Just putting the money in every day. You don't have to be the smartest guy or the smartest girl. You just have to know where your priorities stand, you know. So really, if you really want to uh, get somewhere, you have to put your mind to it. And you have to believe in yourself. I mean, over here, you even see, like, you know, just the, the portfolio slowly increasing slowly increasing slowly increasing you know so you know this is just over time it, see this is just over time this has nothing to do with um, being special or being smart in someone no this is just being consistent and then you see you see this value goes just keeps on going up so, um, so, I mean, regardless of what's going on in the economy, this is how it's moving. So, you know, my next goal, I mean, yeah, I want 150, but I probably start 125 and then 150. Because it's good to set the smaller goals and then achieve the bigger goals. So, I hope everyone gets a little bit motivated from this. And um, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. You have to do your own research. You know, there's Google, there's YouTube, there's so many places where you can get information from. I'm just showing you my experiences with this and what I'm doing that works for me. I can get 100 people to do the same thing I'm doing. Everyone's gonna have different results. Some people better, some people worse. So only thing I could say is that everyone um, at least uh, do, does the research and then at least starts putting money away because if you put it in the bank it's not gonna go far for you it's just gonna just sit it's gonna sit in the bank and you're not gonna get any interest at least here you have a chance you know you know of getting um, some return on your money and having your money work for you because if you look at the banks, they do the same thing. You know, and look, look over here. It shows, it even shows you up 46%. The gain plus 19,000. This is, this is just me putting money in. I haven't, it's not like I, I'm doing something special. So it just shows you over time the gain, you know. This is crazy, you know. So that's why... I'm, you know, if, if you if you were in a bank, it would just show 1%, 2% up on your mind. No, 
No, I can't. I can't. Um, I don't have the patience for that. So overall, I just want everyone to um, just really just believe in yourself and um, set a goal and try to achieve it. Stay motivated. It's a long road. You don't just win a championship on your first day. It's it's it takes time, effort, and a, a strong mentality. So let's all um, work hard, work smart, and it's, it's uh, make 2020 your best year. It's just March, so we still have time. Make it your best year, and um, invest smartly, and let's get it, all right? Thank you again, and, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Have a good one.